happy Valentine's Day. It's Monday the 14th, which makes it Valentine's Day. Let me know, do you guys get gifts from your parents? Because I always get gifts from my parents. Like every year I always get to, obviously not like Christmas type gifts, but I always get like a card and candy. And I always forget about holidays. And my parents started like, they always like put gifts somewhere. I just woke up and then I went to my bathroom and then there was like a card and a bag. And I was like, oh, I forgot it's Valentine's Day. But I love cards so much. Like I feel like I mentioned this before like a while ago, but I love and appreciate cards. I keep every single card that I get. I think a card is the best part of the gift. I don't know, I hate, I feel so weird receiving gifts, like physical things, cause I feel like I don't have good reactions to them. And so I feel bad if it like, it seems like I don't like it. Like I like everything that I get, but like receiving gifts is so weird. I love cards and this is probably like my favorite card I've ever gotten. It's so pretty. And just like what it says, just like I read it and it just made my whole day. And then my gift, I got some chocolate. And then my brother picked this out. This is so funny cause we were literally talking about this the other day, but he got me a pop socket and he picked this one out because it's purple because that's my favorite color it's like the one thing he remembers and i was gonna put on my phone i don't know if i can like have my phone in my tripod with this on happy valentine's day everyone i hope you spend it with someone you love friends family whatever and if you don't spend it with yourself bro if this is crooked i'm so sorry it's almost 10 and today we don't have school because of the snow and i'm actually so happy for that because i had a, a little bit of homework that i didn't get to over the weekend and so i was about to wake up super early today since i have work and i'm not really gonna have time to do homework after school i was gonna wake up really early get some homework done i woke up to my alarm at like 7 i know that's not really early but it's like we go to school kind of late in my opinion as soon as i saw that email that said asynchronous i took my happy self back to sleep i went back to sleep for like an extra hour and then and I got up and got ready. I'm so happy that we don't like have physical school today because now I can get caught up on some homework. I don't have like a lot, a lot to do. The main thing is that I need to finish some reading for English. I finished like my other stuff tomorrow, but I have to read chapter one of Gatsby. Honestly, I may also try to read chapter two as well because that's due on Thursday. And then I need to do my history notes. I don't know why, but I thought it got moved to Thursday, but it's due on Wednesday and we have two chapters of notes. They're both like 14 pages. So that's going to take me a while to do i'm gonna do that as much as i can and then i have an essay due on friday that i kept forgetting about and i'm so annoyed because i'm always like i'm gonna start this essay early but i just can't but i'm actually gonna try to at least do the research part of the essay because i feel like that's the only thing that takes the longest is just find an idea figure out what you're gonna write about do an outline and then once i do an outline and i research and i know what i'm gonna talk about then i can just like write the essay no problem like i could do it all in one sitting but i really need to stop writing essays the day that they're due like this last essay Essay. I literally started it at like 10 30 and it was due like on the day that it was due at 11 59 and I turned it in at like 11 58 and I still got a good grade I mean I still got like a grade that I always get and I think that's why I always procrastinate my essays because I'll do them the day that they're due and I'll still get like a, a pretty good grade so I just feel like why do I need to put a lot of time into it if I can do it in one sitting and still get a good grade but that's a really bad habit because I should just try to do it as early as possible so that I get it done and out of the way and so that I can look over it review it make sure everything is good but yeah, that's like the only homework stuff that I want to do today And then I still have to go to work Which i'm not too mad about because work has been pretty good lately and i've just been learning to like be patient and Play that so it's been pretty good I also like that since I don't have to go to school I don't have to rush because having to go to work right after school is like the most stressful thing I hate going from like one thing to the next and like rushing it like I like to have like time in between So since I don't have to go to school Hopefully I can get to work a little bit earlier and like plan out stuff because I like to do that But you know, it's some it's kind of hard when I have to when i'm coming right from school so hopefully i can get there a little bit earlier and i don't know today's just gonna be boxing day also i finished demon slayer yesterday it was really good i think this is my favorite season season one was kind of slow in the beginning and it was kind of boring but then i like kind of liked it but this season was really good the ending i think it ended great it like resolved i mean yeah it like resolved a bunch of things so i really like it that was a really good show the visuals are just so good like just so good i think that's the main reason why i like demon slayer just because of the visuals i just love like all the stuff and then um euphoria the episode probably one of my favorites just because we got to see a lot of the characters first off cat is so annoying bro she had like 10 minutes of screen time and i hated her for all 10 minutes of the screen time but i am happy that like ethan stuck up for himself because she's definitely manipulating him and gaslighting him and i i was scared that he was gonna like i don't know like feed into it but he defended himself and kept his cool so i'm i love ethan he's really cute he deserves better anyways but she was really annoying me so much like she oh it was low-key funny though when she called him 
when I was like the incel reddit stuff like that was kind of funny but I was mad at her so I didn't laugh and then Cassie like just annoying as always it's not even just like I don't know just her the way she cries and the way she screams her voice is so annoying <laughs> like literally I don't know it was just so it, it, her voice was just getting on my nerves and her crying but I mean Sydney Sweeney I still I still love her but Cassie just not right now and then low-key I was kind of like liking Nate this episode but then the scene with like Maddie and I was like never mind you still have you still have issues but I mean it's and then like the stuff with the Rue and all that that was good too that was a really nice heartwarming episode I'm happy that we had more of Lexi and Fez together that was really cute but yeah I really enjoyed this episode it was really good I am still behind on Attack on Titan I'm like two episodes behind I may watch that today if I get to it but yeah yesterday was really good I'm really sad Demon Slayer is over but Euphoria has been good but yeah I have some bro I forgot like the reason why I'm even making this video is because I was gonna do a weekly vlog because this week I have a little spirit week going on even though i'm not really participating in that spirit week i'm doing a different one which i will explain tomorrow but since we don't have school like i can't really show you what i was going to wear i'll probably just wear it tomorrow anyways because i was really excited i was really excited about my outfit but i'll just like talk to you guys more about the spirit week tomorrow but that's what i was gonna do i was gonna do a whole like week vlog of the spirit week but then we're not going to school today so i'll just show you guys tomorrow also let me know would you like i don't know what i'm asking because i know what i would do anyways so i don't really know what i'm asking oh this is what i meant to say i don't know why but my comments got turned off on my last video and i'm assuming that they're gonna be off for this video too and just know if they are off i did not do that at all i think it's just because i'm a minor and youtube does that sometimes to minors they turn off their comments which is kind of annoying because that's like my favorite part reading the comments from people i don't know how long the comments are gonna be off i try to fix it but they're just still off so i'm gonna try to work on it and get them back on but but for now, they're going to be off until YouTube decides to turn them back on. So I was going to ask a question, but it's kind of pointless because no, you cannot answer. And I already know what I want to do anyways. Yeah, so we're going to do some homework. I'm going to write like a little to-do list and then we're going to get into the stuff. So I still need to hear your Literally the one thing that I miss about online school last year is that if you miss a day or like you fell asleep or just weren't paying attention, you could always go back and watch it and then put it in two times speed. I literally cannot watch anything regular speed. I watch all YouTube videos in two times and like watching stuff for school, I always have to do up the speed. Even like some Netflix shows I watch in two times speed, especially K-dramas because a whole one episode is an hour and I literally cannot watch a whole hour. But like sometimes I wish in real life I could just put them in two times speed because I feel like they talk so extremely slow and it's so annoying and that's why i like these videos because i can just speed it up because i have to watch like two 30 minute videos and no one actually wants to do all that so i'm gonna speed these up like i just cannot watch them regular speed but yeah right now i'm just doing all of my like asynchronous assignments so that i can get it done out of the way and then i'm gonna work on my reading and my notes and stuff like that but right now they just have us watching a lot of videos did i even talk about the super bowl yesterday? i know this is so random but super bowl halftime yesterday it was actually really good. I really liked it. hours later and actually got like pretty much everything done on my to-do list so i'm pretty happy about that i still have like my notes to do but i think i did like like 10 pages or something but i'm about to go to work now it's almost 3 40 and so i'm about to leave to work to go to work so i can be there a little bit early but yeah so i'll probably talk to you guys honestly tomorrow maybe i'll talk to you tonight but probably tomorrow so bye all right good morning <laughs> okay good morning i'm gonna take this off i'm gonna push you down here so good morning guys i'm kind of running late because I, I need to stop doing this i need to stop doing this but i keep doing it and like one day i'm not gonna be lucky but it doesn't matter so my i woke up to like one of my alarms it was like 7 40 and i was like hey i'm gonna get up and so i turned off all my alarms which is always the first mistake like i need to not do that and then i went back to sleep i had some like weird dream and then i woke up and it was like 8 40 which isn't that bad like it doesn't take me long to get ready but now it's like uh it's like 8 56 so didn't take long at all i just 
just like need to stop waking up like doing that because one day i'm gonna wake up late and like no one's home so no one's here to like wake me up and be like oh don't you have to go to school i'm a cabinet member for the black student union and we were gonna have a spirit week for black history month i was so excited for like all the themes but it got canceled it was approved and then it got canceled because like two of the days uh actually i don't want to misquote this and then be wrong and then like get in trouble even though i don't really care but there were just some uh, some days that kind of had issues with and i was kind of like annoyed because i was like why can't we just change those specific days because those are the only ones that had problems but it's whatever but i'm still gonna dress up i don't really care because i was excited yesterday we didn't have school so i'm just moving it today but today was gonna be hbcu day slash like college i have two shirts that i want to wear right now i'm wearing this one i'm gonna wear my other one because it's a t-shirt and my class tomorrow is like super hot i uh, was over my granny's house a little bit and i asked if i could borrow some of her tuskegee shirts this one i don't want to give this back because it's so soft like i always take all her shirts every time i go to her house i take a shirt and i don't give it back uh, th these are like her special shirts but i kind of want to keep it but this is this is literally so soft like the inside is really really soft it says tuskegee and then on the back i don't know what it says the shirt that i'm gonna wear tomorrow i love it this would have been perfect for hbcu day because on the back it literally has every single hbcu like if you can see that and then the front is really cool too tu 1888 i just wish this was like on a crew neck because i would literally eat this up but i'm probably gonna wear this tomorrow and then my mom gave me a bunch of like her black power shirts and stuff with clothes she went crazy bro last year she was buying all this all these like shirts so i'm gonna wear that throughout the week so this is yeah this is what we're looking like i'm gonna try to show you the full i feel like i look weird but this is like so soft this is what it looks like i'm just talking just to talk now i know this lighting right here is so bad i'm gonna cover this lighting but i really want to redecorate my room this is like the only part of my room that has stuff on it and i did it all like i don't even remember if this was last year or the year before that whenever like quarantine happened i used to have like low peep and thrasher flags right there and i took them down not that i don't like them i just i don't know sometimes i just in the middle of the night just like want to do stuff and i just took them down and yeah but i just want to add more stuff to like this long wall and then also since i moved my desk over here i just want to put like posters up there because when i had my desk in the corner i had like my little posters in front of it and this just seems so blank. i hate staring at a blank wall all day and i literally need like more book another bookshelf because i have like all my books right here which i'll actually talk to you guys about later about my like february tbr and stuff <sighs> i was watching this i don't bro i my mind goes on hands but i was watching this girl's youtube videos i follow her on tiktok because she makes like workout stuff and i love her channel i realized that i love those channels where they just film on an iphone and it's like not super professional i love editing so don't get me wrong you may have some little little aesthetic like montages or something but i just love videos where it's just recorded on an iphone and it's not like super duper professional and i just feel like they're just talking and they're not like trying to get all the good angles because she just i don't know i just really like her personality is nice but yeah i'm about to go i'm i don't know what shoes i'm gonna wear honestly i may just wear my white vans because they literally go with everything i don't know i want to wear my beats to school because those things are fire like i'm not kidding i feel like once you go to beats you literally cannot go back like any noise canceling headphones you just can't go back after that because now when i listen to my airpods i'm just like i need these to be louder but like that's why i wanted beats in the first place because my airpods were so like no i would say i'm i may get a pair of i don't know but i think there was like a rule like if you have those you can only have it in like one ear which is understandable because when i have those on i literally cannot hear nothing around me so it, that's definitely like a danger a, a safety hazard or whatever yeah i'm gonna go to school now i know you can't comment but if you can tell me tell me to get my license bro please because like this whole walking to school just is not it and i hate like i hate asking people for stuff so i'm not gonna ask like can you give me right to school like i literally feel so bad when i do stuff like that but i need to get my license asap i want to try to get it before my birthday but we'll see but like literally just having to rely on people for rides is just not not it like at all so yeah just remind me of that oh i need to get a i need to get a mask and my glasses like what am i doing okay this clip is this clip is so long but i'm gonna go to school i wish i could vlog more in school because every time i'm like doing fun stuff at school i never vlog it or just like in general like i went out to dinner with my friends did i vlog it no friday was literally such a good day i didn't vlog anything i'm gonna get my mask and then i'm gonna go to school i may just get a mask at school this is gonna sound like so dumb i usually try to get a mask that like matches my outfit usually i wear all black so i can like wear a color mask i'm gonna bring this and then once i get to school i may get a different one i don't know i'm gonna fill up this hydro jug i'm obsessed with water bottles i may get a new one because don't be wrong i love this water bottle i'm just gonna order the straw top this is literally my favorite color like i love purple especially that type of purple but i may i don't know what am i talking about bro my mind just 
like goes on tangents and i just start talking about literally everything in my brain so i'm sorry but let's go downstairs i'm gonna shut up now because then i'm gonna be late if i keep talking so i will see you guys later and when i get to school so i'm back home from school it was a pretty like okayish day i am really tired though it's like 3 45 i'm so hungry because i haven't eaten anything all day i didn't have breakfast and have lunch not on purpose i just am so hungry so i'm about to eat a bunch of food because i'm starving and then i'm gonna do the dishes before anyone gets home so that i don't get yelled at and then after that i'm literally going to be grinding homework for so long i don't have a lot of homework but i have to finish my notes because they're due tomorrow i only did half of the first chapter and there there's two chapters you have to do they're both like 14 pages and it's just <sighs> whatever but i'm basically going to be grinding and possibly staying up all night so that i can finish these notes for tomorrow but yeah luckily i don't have any homework actually that's a lie i need to work on my paper as well i think today i'm gonna try to do research do the outline maybe get a start i don't know but i really do need to work on my paper because it's due friday it's due at 11 59 which is good because then i can work on it after school on friday i open up my windows because it's so dark so early so i want as much brightness as i can but i made a cup of coffee oh this is so clean the dish never comes out this clean i made a cup of coffee and i'm just going to do some work for the next few hours it's like almost 4 30 right now so i'm gonna work until dinner is ready and just try to get as much done as possible i don't want to do this because it's so time consuming and you just get tired of writing and writing so let's just get to work i guess It's 7.20, I just finished the first chapter of notes. I still have a whole other chapter to do, it's like 13 pages. But I'm feeling like, I don't know if I'm sad, angry, frustrated, whatever. I'm feeling a whole bunch of not good emotions right now. So I'm gonna take a break and take a shower. And I'm not gonna film for the rest of the day because I don't feel good right now. So I do not want to record myself. Um, I'll probably just talk to you guys tomorrow morning. But yeah, I'm just taking a hot shower and just like do whatever. And then dinner should be ready soon. I'm gonna eat. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a quick break because I'm just not feeling, I'm not feeling good. Like, like at all so yeah sorry to be like negative or whatever but <sighs> yeah um i'll be better though like after this week i'll feel good once i turn in my essay and i get like tomorrow over with i'll feel better actually that's a lie i don't know but i will talk to you guys probably tomorrow or later but most likely tomorrow so yeah I'm back from school i got all my notes finished like really early it actually did not take me that long and for the quiz i only got like one question wrong so i'm pretty proud of myself but i haven't talked at all today so i just want to say hey but i kind of want to show you guys like what my february tbr looks like i didn't want to make a whole video on this because i don't think too many people are interested about like books last night i finished fruits basket my library it added like a bunch of manga and so i kind of went ham and i just like bought i mean i just picked up like everything that i saw that i knew of and they had a lot of stuff and that was like the only one where i could find the first volume because like a lot of the other ones i couldn't find the first one it's like all out of order so i just like picked up random stuff but that one had the first volume so like, okay, i'm gonna read it because i haven't watched the anime and i've been thinking about it so i was like if i read it and i like it then i'll start it and it was actually really cute i kind of liked it so i'm definitely gonna watch it because i know the final season came out this year but this book i just started this last night and i'm already really liking it it's called daisy jones and the six i like the style that it's written it's kind of like interview form and like i don't know like it has a person's name like look you look at it as like a script it's really interesting because I think it's about like a rock and roll band and like the night in the 70s i think this is the 70s but i'm not sure but it goes into i don't know like it's per so far it's really interesting and i really like it the other mangas that i picked up from the library one piece because I, I will never ever in my life watch it just because i'll never finish it but i like the cover and then i don't know if i'm actually gonna read those just because it is out of order that's like the ninth volume and then i picked up princess jellyfish i don't know which volume this is but my friend has told me about it so when i saw it i thought of them and i was like ooh, like i literally have no idea what's 
also really thick then we have Circe. i don't know if i'm gonna read this this was honestly just given to me because someone lost a book and i was like i've seen this i know this author wrote the song of achilles i know it's really popular but i just haven't had the urge to read it because i don't really care too much about greek mythology i mean when i learned about it in like freshman year it was kind of interesting but i don't really care about it oh the reason why i got this book is because i know that the seven husbands of evelyn hugo is like super popular but also that book just like doesn't interest me i'm not like i don't really want to read it but if i like this book then i'll read her other book malibu rising i got get away chloe brown because i bought like all these romance books it's like oh february i'll read a bunch but so far like i don't know why but lately i've been hating romance books like i feel like they're all the same the girl character is annoying and like it just doesn't make me smile if that makes sense like first time i read a romance book i was like cheesing i was so happy but now they just like just are corny to me which i know that's kind of the point like a romance book is usually gonna be corny but i got this because it's a black woman like i literally i don't know if this is a black i'm i'm pretty sure yeah it's a black author this is so sad to say but this is like the first book i've read by a black author with a black woman as the main love interest so that's why i got it i know this is a series so if i like it i'll read the rest but yeah if you guys have i need to like diversify my books because i literally get all my recommendations from youtube and tiktok and they're all by white authors about white people so if you have any different stuff let me know but speaking of that i got this like a while ago honestly i only got this because the cover is so beautiful like that is so pretty to me uh, it's called fire keepers daughter and i'm pretty sure this is about natives because it talked about living on the reservation yeah and it talks about it explores the native experience historical injustices and a celebration of the community and that's another reason why i wanted to get this because i've literally never read a book about natives except like in history like coming from a white man's perspective and stuff like that so this just like really pretty i'm pretty sure this is like a murder mystery and i've been really to those lately i just didn't read it because i read a whole murder uh trilogy like back to back so i didn't want to read another one but i'm probably gonna read this soon because i've really really been into like murder mystery stuff i don't know romance has just been like getting my nerves and then the last book is a little life if you've heard of it you know that this is really dark i literally like bought this because it was on sale and then i looked up the trigger warnings because i heard it was a really dark book and that list was a lot longer than i expected it to be um i don't know i've heard a lot of good and bad things i think one bad thing that i'll hate is that it's just a lot of like traumatic events that kind of happen for no reason like they kind of just i don't know see like i started it but i'm not really gonna commit to this book until i feel ready but i don't know i feel like this is a book that i only got because i want to say that i read it oh let me tell you about a book that i read that i absolutely hated this book right here this is why i hate romance books now i hate i literally do not like this book at all the hating game first off like hopefully i don't think there's any spoilers but the obsession with the smurfs was so annoying i just feel like that was so random like if you told like if she like collected ducks i would be like okay that's that makes sense but like smurfs and like i don't know why but like it really irks me when books talk about like new things like in the good girl's guide to murder i really Really love that trilogy but when they brought up fortnite and like what's what's he called uh what's his face the 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 hedgehog sonic when they brought up fortnite sonic airpods like that was really i was like ew like i don't know why but just mentioning like new stuff was weird to me when they mentioned like instagram and snapchat i was okay with it because it made sense with the book you know but the alibi was like oh i was playing fortnite with the boys and i was like ew like that really annoyed me so i just don't like that like that's so random and then she would not shut up about how small and short and tiny she is like that was just so annoying i'm like oh my god we get it like i don't know that just like annoyed me so much like every literally on every single page she would talk about how small tiny short like i don't have a problem with her being tiny and short but it's like how many times you have to mention it and she was just so annoying and i like josh though josh was cool but this book was just like so annoying to me because i just didn't like the girl she was just so annoying but yeah that's pretty much what the february reading list is looking like so yeah um i think i'm gonna end off the vlog tomorrow nothing special is happening i have my pictures club pictures which i was like oh i may vlog that but honestly i don't feel like it so yeah i don't know why but like whenever i do like weekly vlogs it's always like monday to wednesday because thursday i have work it's like there's not really gonna be a lot of content and then friday i literally don't do anything i just chill so my week is pretty much one day monday to wednesday but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i just really didn't want to end it off yesterday because i was really feeling super down and i just didn't want to end a video like being all dramatic and emotional so that's why i wanted to come in and talk again but yeah i'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching i hate having like outros because it just feels like not realistic but like comment subscribe i'll see you guys next time bye